I think episode 9 is the reason why everybody loves SAO, right? The dual wielding Kirito using Starburst Stream. That's probably gotta be like an iconic moment. And if you watched that as a kid, I'm sure it's like almost like a Goku going Super Saiyan moment, right? That moment was sick. Now, we don't know exactly why only Kirito can dual wield, but only he can so far. Some of the other important things that was set up is Asuna getting taken she's not getting taken away but basically the trauma riz of kirito almost dying makes asuna want to leave the guild and just kind of like duo with kirito and just you know get married and do their own shit but the guild leader of their guild won't let that happen unless through a duel first right so maybe we're gonna get a duel it's gonna be a hype episode today as well let's begin <laughs> he's pretty confident he is the guild leader though no, not the Knights of the Blood! Honestly, that doesn't seem like a bad deal to me. <laughs> Do it! Oh, we're just getting right into it? Okay. Wait, what is his title? Heathcliff is the living legend? Hold up. The living legend Heathcliff versus the dual-wielding demon Kirito? He should be called the beater. <laughs> living legends. And he is on a different level, but... Dancho's unique skill! Sacred Sword. Ah, this guy's using a fucking shield, what a coward! But basically, you know, instead of dual wielding, but bro has a fucking shield and a sword, sorry, okay, okay. Bro's HP has never dropped to the yellow zone. <laughs> That's kind of hype, dude. Nobody has ever seen his HP bar be trained that much until today, maybe? The soundtrack's still amazing, man. That doesn't sound like a bad deal to me, joining the Knights of the Blood. Crimson Bloodthirst. Heathcliff? Wow, look at the CGI crowd. Woo! What do you mean? Everyone wants to watch this. Yeah. Confident are you? First strike! So whoever gets the first strike like last time too? Alright, we're dual wielding right away! Come on, starburst stream! Oh! The shield can be used as a weapon? The shield is kind of busted. Okay. Come on, Starburst. Or maybe this is Starburst stream already. Haven't seen the HP HP drop to the yellow zone yet. Oh, oh, we're getting hits in though. You know, I thought the whole point of this was first strike mode. Like you get the whoever gets the first hit wins, but I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't I don't really know what the first strike is, but a really interesting thing with the use of his shield. Look at look look at this scene, right? What I noticed here when he was using the shield, look at this shit. Look how casually he blocks it. Uses a shield as a weapon, but like the shield kind of like impairs the vision. You don't know where the attacks gonna come. Look, look at this, right? You don't know where the attacks gonna come from. The shield itself is like a visual impairment, huh? Reaction time is good, but his defense is too good. It's like, what's the word? Immovable object versus unstoppable force? The shield shape is very sus though, I will agree. Getting some openings in, but look how fat his HP is. Oh, we're doing that thing again. Double attack at the same time. Shine! Whoa, 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 what is this? What is this? Why did time stop? Unique skill? No! Is Heathcliff like hiding a certain skill? Is that what the unique skill was? What the fuck was that? He could move in that instant, even though he said that your reaction is bad. Look at this shit. What the fuck? Is this how he's been cheating this entire time? Is he a hacker? What is this shit? Time stops. He's about to get a lethal hit, but nah. Then he moves. Time's ticking. Yellow. Does that mean we lost? 
We lose? No, he cheated there. We should have won there. Now we got to join his fucking guild. See? That is not a face of somebody that just won. He knows that he would have lost. But he had to use his, like, last resort move. And that's why he's pissed off right now. What did you do, though, bro? What was that? This guy's sus, man. That cheat skill. Back to Tiffany Shaw. <laughs> Kirito has now joined the KKK with Asna. <laughs> we have to wear the fucking robe now. <laughs> okay. Honestly, their fit looks good. And it's a strong, one of the strongest guilds ever. Like, it's the strongest guild ever, but he did want to be a solo player. So, like, it's not too big of an L. Because huh? I'm a Sigma, Asna. You don't understand. I don't eat lunch alone during school for no reason, okay? I'm a Sigma male. Link start. It probably has to do with his, you know, abandonment issues. People dying, getting cut off, you know, Sachi and stuff like that. Even before Sachi. But I guess the Sachi moment did really seal the deal, huh? Yeah. He was smurfing and then they all died in front of him. Remember the house they're gonna get together? Wow! One day we'll get our own house together, guys! Yeah, bro just wanted to chill. Hey, uh, Sachi, no! Trauma Riz? Yeah, and the guy that came back with the house key, if he jumps off the fucking bridge. His logic is, if they knew that I was a beater, then they would have listened to me seriously. Therefore, it's my fault. I don't think so. Some people... Now, this might be spoilers, but I've already been spoiled to this, so fuck you to whoever comments shit like this. But someone said that, um... Apparently, the dungeon, the monsters, their levels, somehow, that room was higher because Kirito was smurfing. He was a higher level compared to everyone else, and that somehow influenced the game to have a dangerous situation like that. Now, if that's the case, then I would agree the one that killed them is indeed your fault. This is a uh, trauma dumping, but Asuna's gonna feel more empathetic and probably be even more closer to Kirito now, right? <sighs> this should be a death flight, but I feel like I can believe Asuna. But this, you should never say stuff like that. You should never say stuff like that. Are you protecting me? What, are we gonna kiss? I thought we were gonna get a kiss, man. Oh, oh! Hand placement! Alright, that's more Asuna Kirito ship, you know, stuff. Who are you, bro? Hmm. He seems kind of reasonable. He's a forward commander. <laughs> Godfrey doesn't seem like a bad person, huh? He seems like a reasonable guy. Got a nice laugh. Hopefully he survives. Asna? Yo, there has been... There has been such a big jump in the romance between these two ever since the last episode, huh? Like, even up to this point... Uh, up, up till Starburst stream and until, like, um, Kirito died, she was still kind of being sundere, but, like, she was making sandwiches and, like, we're like... <laughs> she's making sandwiches as if that's supposed to be something. You know how the sandwiches mean stuff to us, but, like, after Starburst stream and now, truly now after that trauma dump, it's sealed, so... Life lesson, guys. Are you guys taking notes? If you want to bag a girl, you basically have to get in a near-death situation with her. And then you have to trauma dump to her at the day after. And then it's sealed in. That should do it. Sorry. That's what Anakoji would say. Uh, could, could I deal? Is that you? Yeah, great. Yo, this guy probably is with the laughing coffin by now, dude. He looked so upset last time. This dude, Cap, no, no, this is a fucking lie. I don't trust this dude. This guy had the most hostile look at the end. And remember what the fucking laughing coffin did after the duel? When he was like moving away, the, the scene was straight up. He moved and he was like, hey, laughing coffin sign, by the way. Did you guys see? Laughing coffin. Nah, something sus here. Well, Kuradio just seems evil. Heathcliff, I don't know. He has some kind of cheat skill. And like the soundtrack playing right now doesn't help, you know, prove Kuradio's innocent. 
I'll be holding on to all of your teleport crystals. Seems like a pretty dumb rule to fuck us over later. Whoa. You sure you want to do that? Ah, uh, Godfrey, is he being sus too? Is Godfrey in on this together with Kura deal? Oh, oh I don't feel good about this at all, dude. This looks so bad. This might as well be a fucking back alley street. Okay. Um. Another sandwich. Oh, it's a it's a shitty bread. There's no homemade sandwich. There's no handmade sandwich here. It's a shitty bread. Now, can we even trust the rations? I'm gonna be super cautious right now. I don't think we can trust anything right now. What if this like food like fucks us over? Can we trust the food? Is Godfrey really in on it with Kura deal? Why aren't you drinking, huh? Why are you looking at us drinking it? This is a gonna be okay moment. Why are you not drinking, bro? Ah, it's too late! It's too late! Godfrey, did you know? Paralysis effect. <laughs> Fuck you. It's pretty obvious. Like, anyone could have seen this coming. Fucking laughing coffin, right? <laughs> <sighs> Alright, you're just being fucking annoying. Godfrey just gonna die like this? So you're just gonna fucking PK us? That's the fucking story he's gonna tell everybody else. The face is kind of good in terms of the derangedness. Honestly, I don't really know Godfrey, but still, fuck him. Him as in Kura deal. What did Asna say? Asna said that she would protect us, right? Asna's the one that's protecting us. So, Asna gonna show up and save us? Kirito? Is the paralysis gonna wear off at a time? And Laughing Coffin isn't even here yet. Yeah, because he's fucking deranged. To get with Asna. Because he wanted a 16 year old that's fucking creep. Was he part of two guilds? Was he always part of Laughing Coffin? No, I bet he joined after the duel. But since, since when though? Since when though? Always or just after the duel? We really have to fucking just get cucked like this? This is a fucking dumb dude, Asta, come on! Klein! Fucking Sachi's ghost! Somebody save us! Nah, Kikuto's not gonna die. Kuratio's really fucking himself though. Like, you should get over with it. You're delaying it too much. You're stalling. Asna? Heathcliff? Griselda's ghost? Main character plot armor? Wait, so we think about Asuna and then he gets power? Did the paralysis wear off by then maybe? Come on bro, come on dude! Asuna! Somebody! Oh, the flash, the flash, the flash! It's gotta be the flash, right? Yeah, how does she know? How does she know? I mean, she does have the friend list and she can like track people like how we track Sachi, right? Oh, she was stalking us. Oh, she was just stalking us. <laughs> she just fucking stalking. Hey, dub stalk. It worked out in her favor. It worked out. Only because Godfrey went away could she have known that Kirito was in danger. Asuna, PK him. PK him. Training my ass, dude! You're the accident! Please kill him. Oh, oh. Grown ass man, don't jail him. We need to kill him. PK! 
<laughs> no, 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 no. He can't just leave the guild because he's just gonna go back to laughing coffin and then nothing's gonna fucking be fixed. No, we gotta take him out right now. Come on, Asna. I know she's too nice to do this, but see this fucking ass. Starburst stream. Oh. Oh. Wait. Uh, 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 uh. So much for dual wielding. Nah, he can put the sword in his arm now and he can just fight like this knight. He, his hand can get healed up, right? It's a fucking video game. Ooh. That was a sword arch with their fucking hand. <laughs> what about you, bro? Is that the first kill ever on a human? Kitty ever done? I guess this is her first kill, huh? Completely justified. But goddamn. That was fucking barehanded. I mean, you guys can laugh saying it's a sword skill, but like from episode one, motherfuckers have been using axes and spears and calling this sword arts. Like, come on, let's get real. Nobody, everyone actually just uses sword art. They, and they all use this weapon and they just happen to be called sword arts and even that hand attack was a sword arm. Now imagine if Kirito used that on Asuna. Yeah, the stone attack was a sword skill too, by the way, on the fucking boar when we're chilling Klein. Kirito just never gonna dual wield again? No? It's Kuradio's fault. Oh. oh. Our wife was crying. No, you saved us. It's not even your fault. Oh, 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 oh. Nothing like taking advantage of an emotionally vulnerable girl in the heat of the moment by locking in a kiss. Dubriz, my life is yours. She saved us. I'll live for your sake. Propose! Mary, Mary, Mary? This is straight up a marriage vow! Will you marry me? Tonight I want to be with you? Mm. Alright. So are we really locking? Oh, thank God, more home homemade meals. All right. Maybe Kuradil dub. Huh? Maybe Kuradil dub. If Kuradil didn't do that, would this romance have been escalated to this point? Kuradil was a catalyst. Godfrey and Kuradil had to die so that Kirito and Asna's ship could move forward. Thank you, Kuradil. Kaito? Are we gonna have video game zegs now or what? Or are we just gonna awkwardly sip tea and act like nothing's going on? Yes. What? Oh, oh, oh. That, that play some smooth jazz. Oh, the lights are off. I'm getting changed? Oh, oh gee. <laughs> Thank you, Kuradil, again, I guess. Show me your show, show me your toes too, Kirito. We're gonna make some video game babies tonight. I don't know the phrasing kind of... Oh no, you just fucking ruined that dude. You're gonna make her feel bad now about this. Sin today moment. Yeah, that was a negative risk moment. How did you fuck that up so hard, Kirito? Such a dense fucking moment, but it's like, it makes sense. Look at 16 year old kids, right? I'm sure you guys have fucked up just like that too. I'm sure I have. Plenty of cringe moments. Like, it's easy for us to kind of just say it, but like, you know. Are we... No, 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 no. She's just the one... Wait, wait. She punched us out. We just took her in bed, right? What happened? What? what? Wait, she's actually kind of smiling. Why would she smile? If not for the deed being confirmed. Hmm? Um, I'm just gonna assume that they fucked. Right? Just before, you know, just after her per punching us. They had virtual e-sex over Discord, guys. So, like, outside of this world, they're gonna be together, right? Uh-oh. What does that mean? Are we gonna do more slice of life moments? Foreshadowing death flags, but it's like... During times of war, if you never have anyone that you love, then you have nothing to lose, but like... If you suddenly have something to lose, then you're going to start think second guessing and you're going to probably retire, right? All right, I'm going to assume the next couple episodes, we're not going to do shit. Housewife, house husband moments, just chilling, cooking, enjoying the scenic moments. You're going to beat this game and get out of here. Ma 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 married? Married? 
Wait, that's actually a dub Riz moment from Kirito. He actually didn't fuck up there. He actually did well there. He could have totally fucked that up, but he didn't. And that's another episode where it started off incredibly hype. And I think there's a lot to unpack with the Heathcliff duel because he's a god that has his own unique skill. He's fucking busted. It's been rumored that his HP has never reached the yellow zone. Yet, at this critical moment where he was about to fucking lose, he just used Zawardo. And then, time fucking moves fast for him and he fucking beats Kito. And you can confirm it after the duel by his look on his face. That is not the look of someone that just won. That is the look of a guy that feels ashamed because someone actually managed to get close to him, right? Heathcliff hiding them secrets. I don't really know what those secrets are, but we gotta be very aware of him. More Asuna and Kirito moments. Godfrey dies in the span of what, like five minutes of being introduced. Kuradio done. Laughing Coffin Association. So we still gotta be very wary about the Laughing Coffin moving forward. Could you imagine if Heathcliff is actually with the Laughing Coffin? Nah, I think I'm cooking. I think I'm fucking putting the metal spoon in the microwave like that. I just wonder what's going on with Heathcliff and how, you know, the laughing coffin we brought him back to the story. And at the end, none of this Asna scenes could have happened if not for Kuradil. So could we say that Kuradil actually was the ultimate wingman and finally moved the ship of Asna and Kirito into marriage in the span of one episode? Maybe we have to give Kuradil some fucking credit where it's due, but it's looking like the next couple episodes, man. We're going to be doing some dumbass slice of life, you know, fucking gardening, fucking cooking, fucking getting married, and then we'll get back to the front lines. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.